Welcome to True Projects. In this video, we are going to explain about a project titled Early Stage Lung Cancer Prediction using various machine learning techniques. Lung cancer poses a widespread and critical health challenge worldwide, affecting the people across all age groups, from children to elders. The considerable expense associated with lung cancer treatment and diagnosis are a major concern each year. Traditional clinical methods such as X-rays and other imaging techniques rely on costly, complex equipment. Making the accuracy of predictions paramount, therefore, there is a growing need for more efficient and cost-effective machine learning model that leverage medical data set for medical diagnosis. Notably, approximately 85% of lung cancer cases are linked to long-term tobacco smoking while the remaining 10 to 15 percent occur in individuals with no history of smoking. The primary cause of lung cancer is a cigarette smoke which causes the damage to lung tissues when inhaled. Non-smokers may also develop lung cancer due to the factors like exposure to radon radiation, secondhand smoke, air pollution or other causes. There is also a hereditary component to lung cancer diagnosing a Treating the lung cancer can be challenging but early detection and intervention can be effective in preventing or managing the disease. Lung cancer is considered one of the most dangerous forms of cancers and in widespread. With approximately 2.0 million reported cases presently, the severity of the cancer is determined by its stage, which is assigned a grade. Lung cancer has deeply impacted many families and individuals with incidence of cases increasingly rapid. Moreover, it can lead to the significant health issues such as jaundice, swelling and problems with the nervous system. These are the basic requirements that are needed to build this project. The software requirement, Python IDEL with version of 3.7 or Anaconda with version of 3.7 or Jupyter or Google Collab. Hardware requirements, operating system as Windows or Linux, processor of minimum Intel i3, RAM of minimum 4 GB, hard disk of minimum 250 GB. And to know the flow of the project, we need to discuss this step. The first one is importing the libraries. In this step, essential Python libraries for data manipulation, visualization and machine learning are imported. Common libraries include Pandas, NumPy, Matplotlib, Cburn, Sklearn, TensorFlow, and Keras. The second one is importing the dataset. The dataset containing the information about the patients, including the features like age, gender, symptoms, medical history, and the test results, is imported for the analysis. The dataset should be properly formatted and structured for the machine learning task. And the third is applying the following algorithms. Here we applied various machine learning algorithms. The first one is SVM. SVM stands for Support Vector Mission. It's a versatile supervised learning algorithm used for classification tasks. It works by finding an optimal hyperplane that best separates the data points belonging to the different classes in a feature space. SVM is effective for both linear separable and non-linear separable data. To use of kernel functions that transform the data into the higher dimensional spaces, this algorithm is widely used in various domains of test classification, medical diagnosis due to its robustness and ability to handle high dimensional data. And the second one is random forest. It is an ensemble learning method that builds multiple decision tree and combines their prediction to improve the accuracy and reduce the overfitting. Each decision tree is trying on a random subset of the data and a random subset of the features, providing the diversity and capturing the different patterns and the data. The final prediction is determined by the majority voting where the random forest is suitable for the classification and the regression task. The third one is KNN. KNN stands for K Nearest Neighbor. It's a simple and initiative classification algorithm. It assigns a data point to a class 
based on the class label of its k nearest neighbor in the feature space the distance matrix such as euclidean distance determines the nearest neighbors knn is effective for the data set with a clear separation between the classes and can be easily implemented and the fourth one is ann stands for artificial neural network is a powerful deep learning model inspired by the structure of the human brain's neural network it consists of interconnected layer of neurons each performing the mathematical operations on the input data where it can handle the complex patterns and relations in the data making it suitable for the task such as of natural language processing test classification too deep learning technique include ann have revolutionized the field of machine learning and achieved the state of art performance in various applications and then fifth one is oting classifier is an ensemble technique that combines the prediction of the multiple individual classifiers in hard voting the final prediction is determined by the majority voting where each classifier out as equal weight and soft voting the predicted probability from each classifier are combined in the class with highest average probability is selected voting classifier help in reducing the bias and variance and often lead to improved overall prediction performance and the last one is stacking classifier it is also an ensemble method that combines the multiple models to a meta model instead of a simple voting the meta model is trained to learn from the predictions of the base model and make the final prediction stacking allow the base models to specialize in different areas and leverage their collective strength this technique often yield the better result than using the individual model alone however it requires the careful selection of the base model and the meta model to avoid the overfitting and then step a is training the model the selected machine learning algorithms are trained on the data set to learn from the input features and the corresponding target label the training process aim to optimize the model parameter for accurate prediction and the fifth one is user gives the input a user friendly interface is created to allow the user to the input relevant patient data such as of gender symptoms and medical history for the prediction and the sixth one is the given input is pre processed for prediction the user's input data is pre processed to ensure it matches the format and the structure of the training data this step involves data scaling and coding categorical variables handling missing values and other necessary transformations and the seventh one is trident model is used for prediction the pre processed user input is fed into the trident machine learning model where each model predict whether the patient is likely to have the early stage lung cancer or not based on the provided input data and the last one is final outcome is displayed the prediction from all the models are collected and the final outcome is displayed to the user this outcome provides the valuable insight for early detection and intervention to contributing to improve the health care outcome for patient at risk of lung cancer the execution of the project to execute the project first we need to open the code folder this is the code folder containing of different files within it the data set folder containing of the lung cancer data set within it and the static folder containing of the various folders like of css javascript images uploads and web forms within it and the template folder containing of the html documents within it as of hello and the sign in and sign up and the app is an py file which contains the information related to the front end logic it include the code that is written in python that handle the server side operations such as processing the user request interacting with the database and generating the dynamic content that to be rendered in the html template and the lung cancer prediction is an ipynb file which contain a combination of the code graph and output all in one place 
it allows the user to write and execute the code in individual cells and making it a popular choice for the data science. In the signup.db is a file appear to be the database file used to store the user information. To execute the project, we build a front-end interface with by using the Flask framework and the overall code containing of graphs and output all are present in the lung cancer prediction IPYND file. For execution of the project, first we need to open we need to copy this address of the code folder and then open the Anaconda prompt. Here first we need to change the path disk by F because our code folder is present in F disk then write and command cd space paste this address by this command is used to change the current directory to the code folders path and then write a command python space app.py this command is used to execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues by running this app.py file the flask framework will host the application locally at the default address as this and we need to copy this address and paste it on any one of the web browser and I prefer to use the Google Chrome and then click on enter button. By this we get a home screen like this and click on the sign up button and by this button we redirect it to the sign up page containing the necessary details that are need to be filled to create an account. But my account is already registered, that's why I'm using the sign in button. It redirected to the sign in page where I need to enter the username and password as of admin and then click on sign in button. Here it redirected to the index page containing of the features within it. We need to enter these features and then click on the submit button. It will predict the lung cancer from those features. And Hello fingers is of 1 and anxiety is of 1, peer pressure is of 1 and chronic disease is of 1 and fatigue is of 2 and allergy is of 1 wheezing is of 1 alcohol consuming is of 1 coughing is of 1 swallowing difficulty is of 2 and the chest pain is of 1 and then click on the submit button to get the prediction of the scan, lung cancer. By clicking this, we get you have the high chance of having the lung cancer. In this way, we can predict the lung cancer by giving the input features within it. And by giving the another detail of hello fingers of 2, anxiety is of 1, and peer pressure is of 1. And chronic disease is of 2 and fatigue of 2 allergy of 2 wheezing of 2 alcohol consuming of 1 coughing of 2 swallowing difficulty is of 1 and just pain is of 1 and then click on submit button to get the result and you have a high chance of having the lung cancer in this way we can predict the lung cancer by using the various machine learning technique and in conclusion is to identify the most accurate model for predicting the early stage lung cancer using the data set of patients. Various machine learning classifications are utilized to achieve this goal. Throughout the project, insights from the different research projects have been instrumental in enhancing the knowledge of different aspects of this project. 
The study revealed that the SPM is unsuitable for the noisy and large data set. Moreover, the random forest algorithm becomes sluggish with a large number of trees, hindering the real-time prediction and acting as a less interpretable black box. Additionally, the KNN performs well with the balanced data but is sensitive to outliers. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.